Mm. Pat Love from Love Healing Hearts. Okay, here's another one. You ready? Set, go. Mm. You find yourself running off at the mouth. Mm. What are you talking about? Here's a true indication that something is rotten in the backyard. Mm. Can you look back? Do you look back at the times when you were young? And you think of what so-and-so said to you. You never got over it. And you said one day you promised yourself you going to get in his face or her face and you're going to get him told. You're going to tell him just what you really think about him. Work him up one end, down the other, baby. You're going to get him told. Well, <clears throat> Those are unresolved issues. And do you know what they do? You know how they say, one monkey don't stop no show? Oh, yes, it can. If you have an ounce, just an ounce of bitterness, <sighs> it can spoil your feast. You could have a spread, baby, a feast of charity. It can spoil it. Just like one little lump, Bible talks about one leaven leavens the whole lump. Just a little snippet of leaven. You take a little piece of rice bread and you put it in with another little lump, mix it up in there. You watch that whole thing rise. Just a little bit. You don't realize how much that anger has fermented. You don't realize how much that bitterness is spoiling and it begins to smell like rotten garbage and sometimes you're the last to know whoops and everyone around you is like oh no we got to deal with that mess again and you think they're looking down on you you think they're wrong and you're right you're the victim but you don't realize that because of all that rancid anger, all that fermented bitterness of years of harboring in your heart, what you're doing is making life extremely difficult on your family, on your friends, and on your kids. Because trust me, what you can't get done with the person that you have real issues with, you will take out on your kids. Oh, yeah. So you have to be careful because the people around you will end up being stabbed. They'll end up being hurt. Some of them will mentally be murdered by your Speak in your mind by your words, by the poison that spews out of your mouth. Who are you willing to hurt? Whose lives are you willing to destroy? You wonder, some of you parents right now have kids who have become alcoholics, who have become drug, do, dr, woo, woo, drug addicts, who have become uh, very angry bitter and they're always starting to fight, getting in a fight, getting involved in a fight, being arrested for fighting. And you wonder, where did all that come from? Do you realize those are the kind of damages that get done when you allow the poison, the fermented poison in your heart to splatter all over everybody that lives near you and around you, let alone with you. Yeah, poison begets poison. Bitterness can beget death. So if you know you're carrying bitterness, it's not your business. It's not just <clears throat> you let me handle my P's and Q's and you handle yours. No, baby, you're handling yours and you're messing over everybody else while you're doing it. 
because you're not handling it God's way. When you handle that type of thing God's way, oh man, you'd be surprised. The relationships that could blossom out of some old stuff you thought was dead, buried, gone, never had a chance. If both parties are willing, magic can come out of that. A whole new love, a whole new family life can evolve from that. But if you are dead set on being right and then being wrong, oh my goodness. Don't ruin your life and the people you love like that. That's why God wants us to forgive. If they never saw you again in life, it cleans your spirit from all that poison, all the toxins that build up and the <clears throat> negative chemicals that build up in your system from bitterness, which I'm saying this now, the bitterness that you have allowed to build up has now become an attack on your own body. And now this is what a physician has said. When you allow those bitter memories, those angry feelings, those, oh, the, the feelings of resentment and rage to churn and burn, you know what ends up happening? You end up getting things like cancer, ulcers, bleeding ulcers, strokes, heart attacks, not all that stuff comes by what you put in your mouth. Some of that comes from the poison that spews out of your mouth. And your mouth is just an indication, but the proof is in the body. You're killing yourself. And nobody is worth that. So let's, let's, let's decide to forgive. If for no one else's sake, for your sake, because God loves you. He doesn't want you going down like that. When you love, you have peace. Because when you love correctly, you forgive. There are so many things that happen that come along with the way God loves. And there's healing that comes with it. Some of you parents can take a moment, ask God to forgive you for how you've spoken to your kids, how you treated them in your moments of anger. And some of the poisonous words that have belittled them in your heat of passion. And then don't stop there. I'm asking you to do what my father has done to me and it helped me a lot because I have no emotional scars from my father. Go to your children. Sit down with them. Put your arm around them and ask them to forgive you and admit when and how you were wrong. You will be surprised the healing that can come to that child. The reason I say that is because if you have a child that could become a civil engineer or an electrical engineer or a, <coughs> a computer analyst or a person that specializes in computer animation and special effects. There's big money in that. It's in, Those are intriguing, mind-bending careers. But by the time you have gotten through spitting on them with your anger and your pettiness and your attitude and your short temper and your short fuse and pick, 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 there's nothing left in them to even look for anything other than menial jobs because you have driven out their dreams. You've driven out and totally destroyed their confidence. So if you keep telling them they're good for nothing, it becomes a self-fulfilled prophecy. They will become good for nothing thanks to your words and your poison and years of that poor child having to digest your anger. That's your warning. God bless you.